myself, Manju Sharma from Suresh Kanbiar University, Jagatpura, Chapur. The department is School of Agriculture. Today we are going to talk about diseases of cotton. Diseases of cotton. First disease is the anthracnose disease, which goes by the Colletotrichum capsicum. The pathogen infects the seedling and produces a small reddish circular spot on the cotyledons and primary leaves. The lesions develop on the collar region. A stain may be gradual, causing seedling to wilt and die. In mature plants, the fungus attacks the stem, leading to stem splitting and shredding of bark. The most common symptom is ball spotting, a small water shop, circular, reddish brown, depressed spots appear on the balls. The lint is stained to yellow or brown, becomes a solid brittle mass of fiber. The infected balls keys to grow and rust and dry up prematurely. Pathogen The pathogen forms large number of acervuli on the infected parts. The conidiophores are slightly curved, short and club shaped. The conidia are high aligned and falcate, born single on the conidiophores, numerous black colored and thick walled CT are also produced in acervulus. Favorable conditions like prolonged rainfall at the time of ball formation, close planting, disease cycle, Disease cycle, the pathogen survive as dormant mycelium in the seed or as conidia on the surface of seed for about Disease cycle, the pathogen survived as dormant mycelium in the seed or as conidia on the surface of seed for about a year. The pathogen also perpetrates on the rotten balls and other plant debris in the soil.
the secondary spread is by airborne conidia the pathogen also survive in the weed host via aristolachia brachycia and hibiscus diversifolius so these are the symptoms of the disease anthracnose disease of cotton so there will be the spots on the leaves of the cotton and also on the cotton balls management treat the delenchid seeds with carbendazim or carboxin or theorem or captain at 2 g per kg remove and burn the infected plant debris and balls in the soil rob out the weed host spray the crop at ball formation stays with mancozeb 2 kg or copper oxychloride 2.5 kg or carbendazim 500 g per hectare the next disease is the bacterial blight disease the causal organism is the xanthomonas exemopodes there is the angular and water shock lesions on leaves stem and balls and lesions turn dark brown when they will be old so there is the blackening of veins and vein blight in another uh, diagram you can see water shocked angular lesions and last one like the dried lesions which are not opening and the ball is not opening and it will be captured so these all are the symptoms of bacterial blight disease of cotton foliar diseases bacterial blight this is one of the most serious disease of cotton in india the bacterium xanthomonas exemopodes pv malvaserum is known to affect all above ground parts of cotton plant throat out the growing season thus this disease has acquired different names according to which organ or stage is affected seedling blight angular leaf spot leaf vein blight black arm black spot and bacterial ball rot the pathogen remain alive in dried leaves for 17 years could survive for 8 days in water suspension in both moist and air dried soil at 21 to 33 degrees centigrade and thus could be disseminated by dust the main source of primary infection is seeds which may carry the pathogen both externally as a sleepy mass in the fuzz as well as internally the pathogen present in debris like thrush bone in a film may also form an important source of infection the other source is self shown infected seeds like primary infection require a lower temperature 30 degree centigrade but secondary infection is favored by higher temperature that is 35 degree centigrade presence of moisture is very important for secondary spread of the disease during the first 48 hours of infection further development is dependent on the prevalence of congenial temperature and moisture during the incubation period that is 3 to 10 days 
dry and hot weather retards the normal development of the disease the pathogen them survived in the excreta of caterpillar of ericus species for 6 days and the excreta could serve as additional means of transmission of them then their management seed treatment like contaminated or infected seed constitute the primary source of inoculum seed treatment with hot water at 56 degree centigrade for 10 minute destroy external and internal inoculum without affecting the seed vigor seed treatment with streptomycin sulfate 1 g plus emission 5 g in 10 liters of water for 1 to 2 hours for delineated seeds or 3 to 4 hours for show giant seeds or 6 to 8 hour treatment for undelineated seeds is recommended for raising the healthy crop foliar sprays the cotton crop can be pro- protected from an epiphytotic by various fungicides and antibiotics applied to the foliage when the seed treatment fails to control the disease beyond the seedling stage the antibiotics such as agrimycin plantomycin and streptocycline are are good as seed dressers and sprays 100 to 200 ppm along with 0.25% copper based fungicides spraying of these chemicals should be based on the examination of the crop six weeks after planting biological control although no practical method of biological control has been developed some work has been conducted with phylloplain bacteria via the species of some work has been conducted with phylloplain bacteria the species of aeromonas flavobacterium micrococcus and pseudomonas as foliar sprays have been found to effectively reduce the severity of bacterial blight of cotton furthermore these organisms may also be used as an imported input in the integrated management strategy use of resistant varieties like considerable variability for resistant to bacterial blight exists in the genus that is gossypium so therefore the development of resistant cvs of cotton may be highly efficient method for the economic management of this disease in india several resistant source to cotton to cotton blight such as 101 102 b bga 592 reba b50 hg9 then p14 p 128 bgr then tempcot and cam etc are available cultural practice the burning of surface crop residues 
at the end of the crop season crop season flooding of the field after harvest has been has been advocated has been advocate as one of the control measures then jantovonas exenopodis pv malve serum survive as a long period in dry leaves but its variability is reduced very quickly if these infected leaves are buried thus the plugging of diseased crop residues may be helpful in reducing the source of primary inoculum then the seedling affected with bacterial blight should be destroyed immediately during the crop thinning the use of spring color irrigation must be avoided for raising its crop delay its crop then delayed the planting may reduce the primary infection volunteer cotton plants produced from the cotton seeds left over in the field should be destroyed as early as possible then similarly soil solarization crop rotation intercropping with other crop volunteer cotton plants produced from the cotton seeds left over in the field should be destroyed as early as possible similarly soil solarization crop rotation then field should be destroyed as early as possible similarly the soil solarization crop rotation intercropping with other crops and proper use of fertilizer must be practiced to reduce the incidence of bacterial blight of cotton then the next disease is the vascular wilt and the causal organism is verticillium delium the symptoms are seen when uh, the crop is in squares and balls plants infected at early stages are severely stunned so the first symptom can be seen as bronching of veins it is followed by intervenial chlorosis and yellowing of yellowing of leaves finally the leaves begin to dry giving a scrunched appearance at this stage the characteristic diagnostic features is the drying of the leaf margins are areas between veins which give a tiger strip or tiger claw appearance the affected leaves fall off leaving the branches barren the infected stem and roots when split open show a pinkish discoloration of the woody tissue which may taper off into longitudinal streaks in the upper parts and branches the infected leaves also shows brown spot at the end of the petioles so the affected plants may bear a few similar bolts with immature tint
so these are the symptoms of the disease like on the leaves firstly the leaves will be uh, dry from the margins and this kind complete leaf will be dry and then defoliates in another one the effect of the pathogen in the leaves in the stem so here you can see the symptoms of the disease favorable conditions low temperature of 15 to 20 degree centigrade low lying and ill drained soils heavy soils with alkaline reaction heavy doses of nitrogen heavy soils with alkaline reaction low temperature of 15 to 20 degree centigrade low laying and ill drained soil heavy doses of nitrogenous nitrogenous fertilizers then the disease cycle the fungus also infects the other hosts like brinjal chili tomato tobacco and bindi the fungus can survive in the infected plant debris and heavy doses of nitrogenous fertilizer heavy soils with alkaline reactions so these all are the favorable conditions for the pathogen now disease cycle the fungus also infects the other hosts like brinjal chili tobacco the disease cycle the fungus also infects the other host like brinjal chili tobacco and bindi the fungus can be the fungus can survive in the infected plant debris and in soils as microsclerotia the fungus can survive in the infected plant debris and in soil as microsclerotia the fungus can survive in the infected plant debris and in soils as microsclerotia up to 14 years the seeds also carry the microsclerotia and conidia in the pods the primary spread is throughout the the seeds also carry the micro microsclerotia and conidia in the pods the primary spread the primary spread is throughout the microsclerotia or conidia in the soil the secondary spread is throughout the contact of disease roots to healthy ones and through dissemination of infected plant parts throughout irrigation water and other implements the secondary spread is throughout the contact of diseased roots to healthy ones and throughout dissemination of infected plant parts throughout irrigation water and other implements clear management 
ट्रीट द डिलाइंटेड सीड्स विद कार्बोक्सिन और कार्बन डाइजिन एट टू ग्राम पर के जी रिमूव एंड डिस्ट्रॉय द इन्फेक्टेड remove and destroy the infected plant debris after deflowering in summer months like june to july then apply heavy doses of farmi and manure or compost at 100 uh, track per year apply heavy doses of farmi and manure or compost at 100 ton per hectare follow crop rotation by growing paddy or lucerne or chrysanthemum for 2 to 3 years then follow crop rotation by growing paddy or lucerne and chrysanthemum for 2 to 3 days 3 years and spot drench with 0.05 then follow the spot drench with 0.05 g per liter benomile or carbon dazin 20 g per liter then spot drench with 0.05 g per liter benomile or carbon dazin 500 g per liter then grow the disease resistant varieties like sujata suvin and cbs 156 and tolerant varieties like mcu now the diseases of onion purple blotch disease the causal organism is alternaria pori the symptoms are like minute whitish dots on the leaves with irregular chlorotic areas on tip portions circular to oblong concentric velvety rings appear in the chlorotic area sometimes yellow halo is seen around lesions spots will be collins and leaves the spores collins and leaf die from tip backward the diseased leaves break at the point of infection and hang down infection also seen on outer scales of bulb seed stalk and neck then severely infected crop dries up bulbs become dry and papery so these are the symptoms of the 
disease survival and spread like primary infection conidia in infected plant debris or seed bulb then the secondary are wind borne conidia favorable conditions like warm humid weather with rains or dew and the thrives infestation management select healthy bulbs for planting and bulb treatment with mancozeb or thearum 0.25% solution seed treatment with thearum 3 g per kg of seed spray of mancozeb 0.2% or chlorothalonil 0.2% and then manage thrives by insecticides next disease is the isthmus disease the causal organism is colletotrichum circinens the symptoms are like chiefly a disease is a scales of bulb red scale onions are usually resistant to the isthmus due to the presence of protocatenic acid and catechol then the damping of in seed bed under wet and warm conditions then the disease appears at all stages and also during storage and transportation sub circular dark green to almost black is much appear on the bulb neck or green leaves that are clinging to bulb after digging circular lesions with concentric rings of dark stromata and mycelium appear on leaves then the small sunken and yellow lesions on inner scales small second and yellow lesions on inner scales and pinkish mass of fungal growth on lesions under humid conditions so these are the symptoms of isthmus disease of onion survival and spread primary survival like stromata in infected plant debris or soil secondary wind bond conidia the favorable conditions are the favorable conditions are like wet soils with a temperature of 26 degree centigrade management resistant varieties like nasik red pusa ratna and pusa red protection of bulb from rains after harvest then bulb should be dried properly before storage by hot air at 37 to 48 degree centigrade spray of gineb or captain 0.2% before harvest of crop next disease is the ismut disease the causal organism is urocytes cephalu the symptoms are like fungus attacks cotyledons of young plants soon after the year emergence causing dark elongated eruptive spots and older leaves the lesions may extend from base to the tip and appear as blisters the lesions develop into thickened areas of several mm in size lesions burst open releasing masses of black smut spores so the severely affected plants 
killed within three to four weeks of emergence and surviving plants are stunned with stout, brittle, distorted, leaves bearing lesions throughout their length. Then the numerous blisters appear on leaves and bulb scales of mature plants which rupture to expose masses of black powdery spores. So these are the symptoms of the smut disease of onion. So the uh, particular part which is uh, in the ground, so it will be become black in the color and the onion will be spoiled. Then survival and spread, primary survival, spore balls in soil and seed bulbs, secondary wind blown soil, and surface water having smut spores, favorable conditions like optimum temperature of 10 to 200 centigrade, sorry, 10 to 20 degrees centigrade. Plants is susceptible for two to three weeks from soil. Then the air management, seed treatment with TRM, 3 gram per kg seed before sowing in nursery and the crop rotation and use of crop rotation and use of disease free seedlings and seed bulbs. Furrow application of sulfur dust 100 kg per hectare the cultivar are like hardy white, bunching is resistant and spray with captain 0.2% along with and spray of captain 0.2% along with a sticker. Next is the diseases of beans. First disease is the anthracnose disease. The causal organism is Colletotrichum lindemuthenium. The symptoms are all the above ground parts are affected at any stage of crop growth. However, the characteristic symptoms appear on pores. On cotyledons, spores are sunken dark brown or black with pink spore mass. Seedling infection results in collapse of seedling. Spores on leaves appear on lower side and are black. Later, these may also appear on upper surface. When the infection is severe, the affected plant whiters. So the black sunken circular spores of varying sizes appear on pores with bright red, yellow or orange margins. The center of these spores later turns gray or pink due to sporulation of the pathogen. So the border of raised. These are the symptoms like uh, the spores will be there. Survival and spread primary survival. Wind blown and rain is placed conidium. Management 
use healthy seed for planting periodically harvest and destroy infected ones the seed treatment with carbon dust percent or genab or men possess at 10 to 15 days rust disease on beans it caused by